This is question nine. Here we're told that the diagram shows a large tin of pet food in the shape of a cylinder. We're then told that the large tin has a radius of 6.5 centimeters and a height of 11.5. We're then told that a pet food company wants to make a new size of tin and that the new tin will have a radius of 5.8 centimeters. We're also told that the new tin needs to have the same volume as the old tin. And we're asked to calculate the height of the new tin. So in order to work through this, the first thing that I need to recognize is that the volume of the current tin needs to be the same as the volume of the new tin. So to deal with this, I first of all need to know what the volume of the current tin is. So to work that out, I can think of volume and to work out the volume of a cylinder, well, a cylinder is essentially is a prism. Uh, it, you could think of a cylinder as being a circular prism. So to work out the volume, I'm going to use the formula for the volume of a prism, which is area of cross section multiplied by the length or the height in this case. So what I'm going to need to do, area of the cross section, this just refers to the 2D shape that is running through the 3D shape. And so that in this case is a circle. So to work out the volume of the tin, I'm going to say that this is going to be the area of the cross section. So the cross section is a circle. So to do that, I'm going to use pi r squared. So I'm going to do pi multiplied by the radius squared, which is radius here is 6.5. And so that calculation, that works out the area of the circle. And then I'm simply going to multiply by the length or what's being labeled as the height in this case. So multiply by 11.5. So this calculation here, that gives me the volume of the old tin. Now what I need to do and what I need to work out is I need to work out what the height of the new tin is, bearing in mind that the volumes will be the same. So what I can do, now I could start working this out now and I could write that answer down but I'm just going to leave that as it is for now. I'm just going to say that my volume is pi times six and a half squared times by eleven and a half. So whatever that comes to. And what I can now do is I can say well if I know that the volume has to be the same then that means that this calculation pi multiplied by 6.5 squared multiplied by 11.5 well that is going to be the same as the volume for the new tin so using our formula again that's going to be the area of the cross section multiplied by the length or uh, or the height doesn't matter how we label that so the area of our cross section of the new tin well we're told here that the new tin will have a radius of 5.8 centimeters so that means that this calculation, the volume of the old tin, will be equal to pi multiplied by 5.8 squared. So again, just thinking that that is the area of the cross section of the new tin. Then multiplied by the height or by the length. We'll call it the height here. So this leaves us with an equation and it's a nice easy equation to solve. All that I'm going to have to do is divide by pi times 5.8 squared, uh, 5 .8 squared. So pi multiplied by 6.5 squared multiplied by 11.5, the volume of my old tin, divided by pi times 5.8 squared And that is going to be equal to the height. 
So as I said, a nice easy cal uh, a nice easy equation that we've set up, then solving it by dividing by pi times 5.8 squared. All that's left for me to do is to input this into a calculator, and then I can say what my final height is going to be. So inputting this into a calculator is so I'm just taking this pi times 6.5 squared, multiplied by 11.5, divided by pi times 5.8 squared. And that's going to give us a final answer of, and it says 14.44, correct to one decimal place. So we're going to say that that gives us a final answer of 14.4. And uh, what we measure in, in here, centimetres, so 14.4 centimetres.